Now this is um, this is the edge of Port Sunlight near the edge of New Ferry and of course that is close, very very close to the site of the blast on Saturday the 25th of March. Uh, this is the house of Chris Power, you're standing here, this is where you, you, you escaped from the back on the, the night of um, the 25th of March. Absolutely, uh, it was about 20 weeks ago now when that awful blast happened and the thing is that when you hear a blast you initially think what could it be could it be a bomb could it be an explosion so I wasn't aware so as you can see here the blast had a great impact upon all these houses but it wasn't until 10 days later that I realized the true impact of the blast but if we scan around we can see some of the damage 20 years on we can see the slates well, you come off yes yes there's the slates yes we can see uh, a yes. lot of the windows came in at the back and the front. Uh, now, my own conservatory uh, has to be replaced. Yes, so you can see, see the windows up the top. Uh, but it was a frightening experience. So I came out of this door and I started to panic, thinking it was initially a car bomb. So I started to run up here and I could hear people screaming, shouting. There was debris everywhere. Uh, you could still see remains of that if you look around. There was flashing lights and alarms going off. So I got to this point and I realized I'm going to have to stop because of this huge crowds of people here. And it was on this corner where I saw a family. I ran to the family and I realized then that it was an explosion. And the explosion came from the furniture shop over the road on Boundary Road, which is just around the corner. Mm -hmm. yes. We have all these houses with boards up, Stephen still now, and this is the site itself that is, well, the road's been reopened, the uh, the building now has been, the remains of the building where the, the roof was collapsed at 45 degree, degree angle, that's completely been cleared away. You can see the immediate damage to the terrace houses on Underley Terrace there as well. Uh, it's still at that stage. So here we are, we're at the foundations now, and this used to be the furniture shop, and on top of the dance studio. And on the 25th of March, uh, 2017, at quarter past nine, this is it, the explosion. It was a huge impact. And as we look around now, we can see the impact of the blast on the businesses, on the residential homes, uh, port sunlight, port sunlight. But if we just scan around here, we can see what damage it's done. This was no ordinary blast. This is something that was vast. Now, a few weeks ago, the government said no to supporting New Ferry because they think it wasn't a national incident. I'll leave that up to you to, to think about what is a national incident? What is a disaster? Who sets down the criteria? I can say this, no one has to die in order for the government to step in. So we can see here the amount of damage. It's horrific. The slates, the, the broken windows, now, sadly, from Griffiths onwards, most of those shops will be demolished. That's a sad thing, because most of those businesses are family-run. They've been there for years. You can imagine how they feel. You can imagine the pain and suffering. This is nearly 20 weeks on, and still, we, the victims of the blast, the businesses, the families, the children, we still suffer. It's not just emotional. It's physical and structural. So why did the government say no? It's a question that everyone wants to know why. So as new ferry and Port Sunlight, we will re uh, reunite. We will come together and continue the fight. We will do our best to make sure that people in the UK and around the world know that new ferry and Port Sunlight will rise from the ashes. We won't be forgotten. So how can you help? Well, there are many ways you can help. First of all, tell people that this was not a national incident. Fill the petition in, the petition that we can use to go back to the government to say, please look at this again, because we are suffering, we need your help. Or support people by going to new beginnings. The town team, Paula from Money Matters, and donate if you can. But just remember, I was a victim on that night. I still have flashbacks. It's painful. It's sad. So please, let's have a look around at more of the damage. And then you say to yourselves, was this a national incident?
So, Michael, okay. 